Hello there Carpologists, I'm Joe and today we're taking a look at this, the TF Gear Juggernaut. Today we're taking a look at the TF Gear Juggernaut, or as a dog walker called it in the car park, a bit of a tank. And it is a bit of a beast, but that's not meaning that it's heavy on the user. It's designed with three wheels, you've got one at the front and two at the back. So it's very stable, you put all your gear on and it's not going to tip around on a one wheel basis like a conventional barrel would. But also that means that there's not as much weight, if any, on your back. You simply push it and it rolls forward because there's none of this leverage going on. So at the moment I've got my bed chair on here four rods, my camera stuff, a hooking mat, a uh, shelter as well, and I could easily stack a load more on there and push it along on the flat ground, absolutely easy. And then I started taking it down the path. So the place I'm at at the moment, I'm not actually at the lake right now because I'm also showing its capability of holding itself on a slope with the brake, but uh, all terrain's absolutely fine. I've gone downhill, uphill, over rocks, over mud, slipped in cow shit, and uh, it stood the uh, test. It's been stable, not been difficult at all. And you could also maneuver it very easily. Being a three wheeled barrel, you'd think maybe it's a bit hard to maneuver, but it's not the case. You just put slight pressure on the arms downwards rather than picking up, and it gives a little bit of weight lift on the front wheels. You can maneuver it that way. So you can push down and pivot on the back two wheels, or there are two handles below the main handle which fold out, which are just probably five or six inches below the main handle. So if you use them, just a slight bend in these and lift, you raise the back two wheels. So that means that you can then use it as a single front wheel. That means you can move it around if you only have space for one wheel or if you're going over a, a beam or something at a certain lakes where you've got little pathways where the three wheels aren't gonna work, you can pick it up and use it on just the front wheel. And talk of the wheels, very, very heavy duty. The tread on them are huge. And they're probably what a lot of the weight comes from. Now this isn't the lightest of barrows by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not ultra heavy either. But the whole idea of it is that you're not lifting it anyway. So that weight aspect doesn't really come into it too much. Getting it in the car, I've got quite a big estate car, so it went in very easily. I just lifted the front wheel, put it onto the boot, and then lifted the back and put it in, took the handles off, and it shut down fine. But if you've got a slightly smaller car, it folds up even smaller. All the sides and front fold down. The wheels can unclip easy enough, and the handles come off as well. So you can fit it in a smaller car as well. Now, as I said at the start of the video, this is being held by its own brake. Back right is a foot brake, so you put your foot on the bar, flick it down, spring-loaded brake, and it locks into the tread on the back right wheel. Just as easy to disengage as well, just flick it back off with your foot. That means it's already got the stability of the three wheels, so it's not going to tip over when you're stopping, but you don't want it to be rolling forwards and backwards. So putting that brake on just holds it steady wherever you stop it, making it much easier to load and unload. Now, as I also mentioned, this isn't the lightest of barrows. It comes in at 28 and a half kilos. So I've got to say, when I first saw that stat, my back was dreading it. As someone that suffers with a bad back, I don't always look forward to reviewing some of these heavier items, but the whole way it's designed is that weight isn't on my back. So absolutely spot on for people that struggle with a bad back and just it's built to last as well. It's gonna take anything you can throw at it. I've barely tested it today on all these rocks and mud. It really would stand the test of time. So if you're interested in one of these, please visit the TF Gear website. You can pick one of these up for 159.99. But cheers for watching and I'll see you again soon.